Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial looking at the Detect Edge filter. Now this sort of came about when in the Affinity Photo Facebook group James asked about the Detect Edge filter said he couldn't find any tutorials on it and said the only thing he could discover was the option to rasterize the mask. I did point him towards a video which has already been made which is by Digitally, Digitally Fearless and I will add a link to this in the description for my video and I will also add links to any of the images that I use. So if we come back to Affinity Photo if we look in the help files for Detect Edge it basically says under here, um, up here that the detect edge filter isolates and strengthens both the horizontal and vertical edges while darkening the rest of the image. It is useful for creating stylized effects and edge masks. And the image that they've used, Edge Detects, uses on a duplicate layer, used on a duplicate layer, whose blending mode is set to subtract, giving the cells a shaded look. And if you click on the image that is without the detect edge filter added and that's with the detect edge filter added so having a quick look at that effect what you would need to do here is to duplicate whatever it is you want to do come up to filters and detect edge and you can do either the vertical edges, the horizontal edges or all edges which I'm going to go for here and straight away you can see it sort of turns it into a sort of negative drawing type effect and it's how you blend mode that duplicate with the layer underneath that will give you all sorts of different effects and the blend mode is up here where it says normal you do the drop down menu you have all these different blend modes so you can go through these and find an effect that you like I mean the main ones where you it will still look like the basic photograph are probably around the you know overlay and all that area um, subtract is somewhere down here which is the one they used in the help file here we go subtract which makes it sort of much darker it's not an effect I particularly like on my image here um, but it's just a case of finding a blend mode that you like that that has an effect on see that constant negate looks like a very spooky type image let me come back up to normal and what you can also do with this is you can invert this so it sort of detects sort of the opposite of what it does f as a default and you can do that by pressing control and I or command and I or coming up to layer and do invert so again you get this cartoony drawing effect which is you know, okay in, its, in itself or again you can go through the different blend modes and get a different image um, then you you could but just leaving it on the default setting so it's a case of trial and error really see which works for you so that's luminosity that's quite good it gives it a very nice sort of pencil drawing type effect which is sort of similar to what the digitally fearless um, video sort of did so let me come away from that so if I come onto this image here it's of the shark now this is one I got from a free PNG website now I wanted to look at the, um, the comment that was made about using rasterized to mask so that's what I'm going to do here and this works best really on a PNG file like this or on a, an image where you've already cut out the background and you've just got the image that you want so let's come over to we still seem to be stuck on over here we don't 
um, updated to the image that we're on. Let's, let's try go with S here. Right, so we've got the single layer there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come up to filters, detect, detect edges, which will turn this into this sort of drawing black and white type image, um, which in itself is not that brilliant. But if you come to the image layer over here and right click, and you come down to rasterize the mask, basically you've turned that into a mask and it is sort of hidden everything. So to be able to see what is actually there, if I add a new layer, new pixel layer, and I'm going to fill that with black. So flood fill, make sure the color's black. Just click there to flood fill that. And I will drag this layer below the mask layer. You can now see the outline of the shark. And you know that is sort of just like a pencil drawing. So if I now um, right, hold down control and click the mask layer and I group these two together so they will be joined together I could then add a new layer and I could flood fill this with a colour let's, let's try a blue colour for water just any old blue I'll just pick that one and I flood fill that layer, draw that below. As you can see, you can see the blue through the the whole mask, but it is gives you a different effect. So that's basically how you can use a detect edge on a single layer, as opposed to using it on a duplicate of a, an image and blending that duplicate down onto the image to get you a different effect. So. When I sort of worked out how the rasterized mask bit worked, I thought, well, you know, this sort of looks a bit like it's almost like a tattoo. So I thought maybe I can make a, a fake tattoo. So I've got this image of this chap's arm off Pixabay. And let me just come back to this. What I need is that shark image oh, it's just as easy to open it up again and uh, where are you oh, i can't do it while well, that's open let's close that shark. so what i'll do is i've got my image of the shark here so i will copy this uh, come to the arm that we want to put it on and then edit and paste come to the move tool and what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to resize this I'm going to hold down the control key while I bring in the corner edge just to give me the ability to keep the perspective the same and I'll just rotate it I think slightly So we're going to have like the tattoo there. So like before, I'm going to come to filters, detect, detect edges. I'm going to right click that and rasterize the mask. And like I said, it's going to hide everything that was underneath it. But you can just about, hopefully you can see anything, just about still see the basic outline of the shark there so you highlight the background layer add a pixel layer flood fill that with black so we can see that better and then hold down the control key and click on the mask layer group those two together and because they're now grouped it's not affecting the image below and you can see the image 
on top of the background there. So I'm, I'm not fully conversed with tattoos and what they should look like and whatever you so forgive me at this point I don't sort of do it as well as you think it should be but I mean that in its own way is okay and I do know that sort of a tattoo that's been on someone for a long time will start to fade so you could sort of add a blur filter sort of Gaussian blur filter to that just to sort of fade the edges slightly you could also try different blend modes um, I think the one I found which I quite liked was average which does make it slightly lighter but again like I said I'm not too knowledgeable about tattoos whether they should be lighter or darker but you could then duplicate that group and then change the blend mode to something else say like um, soft light so you've got two groups working together and then like I said you could add the fil uh, blur filter and the thing you need to remember about this is that once you use the blur filter it will convert that group into a single layer so if I come to filters blur and Gaussian blur the group that I'm changing should change to a single layer as it says I mean, the, assistant, the assistant rasterizer layer for you so I'm going to put this on one pixel and click apply so that now which was a group before is now a single rasterized layer but hopefully it's just given that look a slightly faded look and uh, I think it works quite well on this particular image you'd have to tinker with blend modes and what have you depending on the image you're using and the background you're using so basically that is the end of looking at uh, the detect edges filter I hope that answers some of the questions that James was asking about um, so thank you for watching and goodbye